Bob Jolly. I work for Alcivia as an agronomy account manager out of the Marquesan location. And today we're going to discuss one of the main deciding factors in when to start chopping your corn for silage, and that's moisture. So the uh, agronomy group and the animal nutrition group have chippers, scales, and dryers so that they can take a sample of your stalks and tell you what the moisture of the entire stalk is so that you can make a de decision as to how you're going to chop your corn. So if you're doing a drive over pile or a bunker, you'll want that moisture to be in the high 60s or low 70s. If you're doing a traditional tower silo, concrete stave silo, or a bag, you'll want to be in the mid 60s. And if you're going to do an oxygen limiting silo, especially a bottom unloading silo, you'll want to be in the high 50s or low 60s with your moisture at the time that you chop. So take four or five stalks like I have here, try and stay out of the headlands, go for the long rows in the center of the field, and try and take what you think is a representative sample of what the corn looks like in that field. You'll certainly want to segregate any different hybrids or different field conditions that you have, low-lying fields, high fields, and test those separate. I'd start right about now uh, for corn that was planted in, in uh, an early, say late April, early May time frame. And uh, go ahead, make arrangements in advance so that you have somewhere for the stalks to go to be tested. Uh, you don't want them laying around for a half a day or a day or the sample won't be accurate. So go ahead and take them and uh, make contact with an Elsevier representative. Go ahead and get a moisture sample done and then follow up a couple of times until the moisture is in the range when you want to start chopping. And also bear in mind the amount of time that it's going to take you to chop your corn. If it's going to be a week, you'll want to watch and see just how fast that corn's drying down. Maybe start a little wetter so that it doesn't get too dry on you during the time that it's going to take you to chop and fill silo. So those are a few tips getting started with chopping your silage. And uh, as always, you can contact an Alcivia representative, either agronomy or animal nutrition in this case, and get yourself a silage moisture test so that you can make the very best decision on the moisture of your silage before you chop this year. Thanks for watching. Hi, I'm Terry Zimdars with Alcivia, wanting to talk to you a little bit about silage management. A lot has gone into making this crop to the point where it's at now. Decisions on fertility, decisions on varieties, decisions all along the way, whether to use fungicides and all the crop inputs that go into that. Now it's time to harvest it for corn silage. I wanted to talk a little bit about what you can do to make sure you have a great crop coming up for the next year. When it's corn silage time, you only have one chance to make it right and that feed will be fed for the next 12 months. One of the things we like to look at is kernel processing score. This is a measurement of how much corn will pass through a 4.75 millimeter screen. The ideal goal would be to have over 70%. If you're below that, you need to make some adjustments to your equipment. In the past, we used to have to send a sample into the lab to have analyzed, which would take several days for turnaround. Now, with an app, we can do this right in the field to make the adjustments that are needed. After taking a couple handful of corn silage, we have separated them in a dish pan of water. As you can see, on the plate is the stover and on the paper towel is the kernels that I've separated out. What we want to do is then take a subsample of this and put it on a black background. In this case, we used black construction paper and a dime as our reference point. This is what we'll then use to load up a photo and silage snap to get our KPS score. Using the photo we had taken and running it through silage snap, we can see that our kernel processing score on this sample is 57.7. This is much lower than our goal of 70%. This would indicate a fecal starch of around 4.25, indicating room for improvement. Adjustments could be made to the kernel processor at this point in time to tighten that down or slow down the speed as we're going through the field to do a better job of processing. These are important results to determine how to get the most out of our corn silage. If you have any questions, please reach out. Thank you much.